a short cardio circuit, low impact. So anyone with hip, knee, back issues that wants to do some cardio but doesn't want to do any jumping, this is the circuit for you. We're going to just do nice big full body movements but without the impact. So the first thing we're going to do is a version of a star jump but it's a stepping star jump. So we're moving the arms and the legs and we're just stepping the legs out and moving the arms. So the more muscles that we activate, the more oxygen that we need, so the more that we're going to use those, the heart and the lungs. So the cardio system is going to be activated any time we do these big full body movements. You know, running, jumping, biking, rowing, swimming, and all of the ones that we're about to go through today. Anything that you can do that's high impact, we can make a low impact version. So that's what we're working on today. We're halfway through that first minute. Don't stop. If you need to, you can drop your arms and just do the legs for a minute and then pick those arms back up when you're ready. But try not to stop. Try to always keep moving. Last 15 seconds here. The faster that you go, the more muscles that you're gonna activate. But if you wanna slow it down a little bit, slow is still good. You move at the pace that suits you. That's our minute. Okay, next exercise. So the next one you just need a little step for, which I'm gonna bring over. If you've got a little stool or a step. Now if you don't have anything like that, you can just do this on the floor. But if you have a little stool or a step, we're just gonna step up, up, down, down, and alternate feet. Okay. Now, it could be a super duper low step and that's fine. And if we're just on the floor, it's just gonna be marching on the spot, okay? So you pick your level. mountain climber. So mountain climbers are usually done on the floor. We can make them a little bit easier and a little bit lower impact by elevating our hands up onto something. So I'm going to use my step. You could use a chair, the couch, the bench, anything you like. Hands on, feet out. So we're starting in plank position and instead of jumping, we're doing a low impact version. So we're just bringing one knee in at a time. Okay. So we're getting some cardio activity because we're hitting a lot of large muscle groups, but you'll also feel your core is really switched on here. We're using a lot of abs. We're using some of our chest and shoulder muscles. And we're really getting almost a full body muscle, uh, sorry, full body exercise here because we're activating so many different muscles. So keep breathing, we're past halfway, 20 seconds to go. to do when you have limited space. Maybe you don't have a treadmill or you can't go outside or you're in a little hotel room, who knows? But this is really great because all you need is yourself, maybe a step and uh, a little bit of floor. Okay, so we've done our star jumps, our stepping on the spot, we've done mountain climbers. The next thing we're gonna do is skipping. So traditionally we'd be jumping up and down with the skipping rope, right? Our low impact version is we're marching on the spot, moving our arms as well, okay? Anytime we factor our arms in, more muscles, more blood, more oxygen, more calories, very effective. So, breathing in and out and stepping up and down. Now, if you wanted to make it a little bit faster, you could. You work at whatever level works for you. Deep breaths in and out here. Keep that body moving. Anything that you do is better than nothing. So keep moving. Try not to stop. If you need to stop with the arms and just use the legs, that's fine. And then bring those arms back in when you can. Okay, we're 
Last halfway. Nearly done. Last 10 seconds. And five, four, three, two, one. Now, the last exercise is one of our most commonly hated exercises. And I'm going to show you a really nice low impact alternative so you might not hate it quite so much. It's a burpee, okay? So traditionally your burpee is jumping down, jump out, jump in and jump up. We're going to make that nice and low impact for you. So all you're going to do is bring your hands down to the step, 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 stand. So just moving your body down and up, moving your legs in and out. We're still activating all those muscles. We're still changing our body position from high to low. We're still using a lot of our heart and lungs. There's a lot less jumping, so it's not quite so painful. And you can put your hands as high or as low as you want to. If you wanted to make this harder, you could go all the way to the floor. If you wanted to make this easier, you could just go on like the kitchen bench or the bathroom bench or a chair or a couch. Anything that gives you the right amount of height to make it the right level of intensity for you. We got five seconds to go, nearly there. Three, two, 